Hi there, working homeschool moms. This is Charlotte from Charlotte Jones 24-7 and My Little Homeschool. And this is episode number 85 of the Strike a Balance podcast for working homeschool moms. And today I'm going to be looking back in time and I'm going to question all the things that I did when I started homeschooling. Because if you are thinking to yourself, I want to start homeschooling today, I want to give you some of the things that I probably would do differently if I were to start all over from scratch. So if you are thinking about starting out, if you're worrying about it, or if you're thinking about taking the plunge, then I really hope today's episode will give you some insight, some guidance of things that you should be concentrating on, in my opinion, and things that you maybe don't need to concentrate on so much. But before we get to the episode, I'd be ever so grateful if you could rate, review and subscribe to the podcast. It just means that more working homeschool moms can find it. And in that way, we can build this beautiful working homeschool mom community together. Thank you so much and enjoy the episode. Hello and welcome to the Strike a Balance podcast for working homeschool moms. This is Charlotte Jones. I'm a homeschool coach and homeschooling mom of twin boys. I know it can feel really overwhelming to keep all the balls in the air all the time. So each week I chat about tips and strategies for being a happy and thriving working homeschool mom that you can implement in your life too. I also speak to awesome and inspiring women who manage to juggle homeschooling and work successfully and find out what their secrets are. Be sure to check out my time audit and mindset challenges the show notes and sign up to my newsletter for lots of cool freebies. And if you ever need to chat, please book in a session with me. I'm so excited for you to be here and I hope you'll get so much value out of this episode. So let's get started. Are you looking for a new math curriculum? Well, I'm thrilled to introduce our favorite math curriculum to you. CTC Math specializes in providing online video tutorials that take a multi-sensory approach to learning. Favorably reviewed in Kathy Duffy's 102 Top Picks and the Old Schoolhouse Crew Review, the lessons are short and concise to help your children break down concepts and appreciate math in a whole new way. The lessons are taught the traditional way and not to a test. Each one of the video tutorials is taught by an internationally acclaimed teacher, Pat Murray, who is renowned for teaching math concepts in a simple, easy to understand way and in only a few minutes at a time. Using a multi-sensory approach means having the combination of effective graphics and animation synchronized with the voice of a friendly teacher together with a practical assessment. This three-pronged attack makes learning so much easier and more effective. Even students who struggled with math are getting fantastic results, and ones who were doing okay before are now doing brilliantly. Visit ctcmath.com today to start your free trial. CTC Maths is generously offering my listeners an amazing special. Go to www.ctcmath.com forward slash MLH to get a half price discount plus a bonus six months for free. That's C-T-C-M-A-T-H dot C-O-M forward slash M-L-H. If you want to start homeschooling today, here are five things I think you should do to succeed based on my experience, obviously. So I sometimes wonder what I'd do if I were to start homeschooling today from scratch. Would I do anything differently? You better believe I would. I don't want to be hard on myself or regret what I've done. I've definitely learned so much and that's why I can share what I've learned. I've been through it and come out the other side. But If I could have a do-over, I'd make some changes, definitely. And if you are listening to this, deciding to start homeschooling today, I hope that this episode will give you some ideas of what you should concentrate on and what you can leave. So firstly, number one, I'd go directly into de-schooling. When I started homeschooling, I'd never even heard of de-schooling. And I actually stumbled on the concept by chance and my mind was totally blown. It sounded so strange. It sounded so foreign. But I wish I'd started earlier because the beginning of our homeschool was tough. The boys were so resistant to any kind of structured learning. There was fighting and crying and frustration. And I think I could have avoided this whole period entirely. My kids had a really incredibly traumatic one year at public school, and they needed to shake it off. And I needed to also open my mind and my eyes to see what they needed, and all the possibilities that were out there in terms of learning. So if you want to start homeschooling today, I suggest that you 
Start immediately with something fun that your kids like to do. Give them that opportunity to decompress, especially if you're taking them out of school. And then I suggest you also become used to the idea of taking time off from structured learning until you can see that your kids are ready. And trust me, they will tell you when they are ready. You will be able to very clearly see that they are ready to do some more structured learning. And something else that can really help is to get really stocked up with lots of books and games and craft supplies and art supplies and anything that might inspire curiosity and get a nice big notebook where you can start taking notes about what your kids like to read and do when they're the most energetic, what excites them, what engages them, how they like to learn things, and importantly, what times they like to eat. This is probably going to be a constant, so be sure to also stock up on enough food. Number two, I'd find the real working homeschool moms of social media. I think this is a good idea for a TV program. I was so lonely when I started out as a working homeschool mom, not to mention totally clueless, and I was desperate for community and guidance. I couldn't find a homeschooling community in real life, so I had to go online, and this was totally fine, but I did get sucked into a rabbit hole of perfect homeschooling families who always looked happy and engaged and lived in beautiful sprawling houses surrounded by gorgeous resources and lovely sunny homeschool rooms. And I couldn't find homeschoolers who had a similar life to mine and it really made me feel so bad about myself. So I was looking for working homeschool moms firstly, which was not very common and who lived in normal houses or maybe even small houses like mine and who were also homeschooling neurodiversity. Luckily, I managed to get out of this loop and have since found amazing women to fill my working homeschool mom community with. We're definitely not all the same, don't get me wrong, but we have similar ideas about what's important. So if you want to start homeschooling today, I suggest that you only follow homeschoolers who share the ups and downs of homeschooling. They need to show the good and the bad because homeschooling, as with anything in life, is not all good or all bad for that matter, to show the ups and downs. Remind yourself that what you see on Instagram is often not reality. I know this is not easy, but it helps to remind yourself periodically it's not real. Get inspiration from what you see, but don't try to copy unless you, you're sure that it is 100% right for you. And that might be difficult at the beginning, but once you gain some confidence, you'll have a better idea of what will work for you. Or you could start your own groups if there's nothing out there that speaks to you. It's very easy to start a Facebook group and gather like-minded women in that way. I have an exciting announcement to make, something that I've been working on for a long time, which is finally coming to fruition, and that is the WHM Collective. The WHM Collective is a group coaching membership specifically for working homeschool moms. So I know it's really easy to become overwhelmed and frustrated as a working homeschool mom. Group coaching is a fantastic way for you to meet other working homeschool moms online so that you can work on what's holding you back together. It's a great way to learn in a group how to welcome more joy and ease into your life. But let's just quickly think about if group coaching is for you. So group coaching is for you if you're feeling overwhelmed and frustrated and want to welcome more joy and ease in your life. You're feeling lonely and like nobody really gets what you're going through. You want tools to help you have a more balanced life. You need accountability to make the changes you're craving and you're ready to invest time and energy into creating a life that you love. Group coaching is not for you if you're unwilling to become aware of what's causing you to feel like you're stuck in a holding pattern. You prefer to go it alone and don't want to share your struggles and hopes. You want a step-by-step -step guide that requires no thought. You aren't willing to give group coaching the time it takes to see real changes. But if you've decided that group coaching is for you, I'm sure you're going to love the WHM Collective. WHM Collective will be a monthly membership, which you will find on Patreon. And I've hosted on Patreon so that I can keep the costs really low because I know that finances can be an issue. And basically what you'll get for your monthly membership fee is you'll get a monthly workshop, you'll get principles, you'll get email support, you'll have one free one-to-one -one coaching session included, office hours where you can ask me anything in real time, discounts and special offers. And this is something that I'm really excited about, access to past content, which will be growing exponentially every month as I create new eBooks, as I upload workshops, 
and as I create printables. So for just $9 a month, you're going to have a lot of support on your working homeschool mom journey. I'm so excited to start this membership. And if this is something that sounds good to you, then be sure to sign up for the waitlist, which will be in the show notes. The third thing I'd do is I'd accept the mess. So homeschooling can be messy in so many ways, apart from the messiness that comes from learning and from figuring out how your kids learn and that whole aspect. There's also the physical mess that comes from having people at home all the time and the constant eating. (laughs) I have to admit that I really struggled with accepting the mess when we started homeschooling and it caused so many arguments because I consider myself organized and tidy, but I was quickly overwhelmed by it all. And it made me frustrated and angry for a long time. And I wish I'd really let go of this earlier because it really wasn't necessary. And the arguments and the fights didn't solve any issues at all. They just caused tension at home. So my house is definitely not perfect. And I would love my kids to be much more involved. But I do what I can to keep the house tidy. And I do get help sometimes as well. And the most important thing is that we're not constantly butting heads anymore. And it is worth it just for that. So if you want to start homeschooling today, I suggest that you lower your expectations way down. And this actually applies to a lot of homeschooling. Get the kids involved if you can, because homeschooling is a great opportunity to teach them how to do chores. Unfortunately, this doesn't work for us, but I know many, many homeschoolers who get their kids involved and have taught their kids how to do chores and to do it very successfully. And then also ask for help if you need it and you can manage it. There's absolutely no shame in this. And then also find a schedule for cleaning, for cooking over time. And this is important. It's probably not going to happen immediately. Find a schedule over time that's realistic and sustainable. And be sure to tweak that until you find something that really works. The fourth thing I'd do is I'd stop worrying about schedules and curricula and socialization. I worried about everything when I started out. I felt a huge responsibility. So there was a lot of stress. And some of my biggest worries were how to schedule work and homeschool, what curriculum we'd use and how my kids would socialize. So I know now that a lot of the stress came from expectations of others. I'd get asked about all these things. And to be honest, I still get asked a lot nowadays, but obviously I feel more confident about our choices. And it all seeped into my consciousness and it made me doubt my abilities and choices. And worst of all, it took my attention away from what was important. I needed to focus on my kids and building a strong connection between us. The beginning of our homeschool was rocky because of everything I was expecting from them and from myself. Like I said, no regrets. Obviously, I've learned a lot and that is why I can share now. But it is good to acknowledge these kinds of things as well. And now that I've spoken to hundreds of homeschool moms, working homeschool moms through the podcast, through my community and in all the summits that I take part in, I know this is totally normal, but it doesn't have to be. You can ease into homeschooling in an easier and more positive way. So if you want to start homeschooling today, I suggest that you disregard naysayers and remember why you've chosen to homeschool. Don't allow people to make you doubt your decision and concentrate on spending quality time with your kids so you can build or even rebuild in some cases a deep bond because this is going to help you so much when it comes to more structured learning. And believe me when I tell you that you will totally figure it out. I know it might might seem overwhelming at the beginning, but you will figure it out. And the fifth thing I do if I started homeschooling today is I'd get help. Like I said, the beginning of homeschooling was pretty hard for us. And unfortunately, I'm not someone who likes to ask for help. Yes, this is something that I'm definitely learning to overcome, luckily, because it is definitely something that I need to learn to be better at. But since asking for help, things have really started to happen for me. So, for example, I joined a mastermind and my business has benefited so much from this. I've taken classes from experts and it's improved our homeschool. It's improved my confidence in how we homeschool. And I've joined groups and my mindset has shifted so much. So if you want to start homeschooling today, I suggest that you ask for help because you'll thank yourself for it. Ask me, I know. Don't do what I did. (laughs) Rather ask for help at the beginning. And also be okay with investing in yourself in terms of time and money because the benefits far outweigh what you spend on these kinds of things. 
Or obviously you can come and join the WHM Collective and get all the help and support you need as you start out. So just my final thoughts on starting homeschooling today. So if you want to start homeschooling today, I say go for it. I bet you have a very powerful reason to start home educating your kiddos. And this is the most important thing. And remember your why, because it's going to help you so much to figure it all out, to stay motivated, to make it through the hard days and to give your child the most amazing learning experience possible. I really hope you enjoyed the episode. Drop me a DM on Instagram or post on the Working Homeschool Mom support group over on Facebook. And let me know what resonated the most with you. It would also be great if you could rate, review and subscribe or share the podcast with a working homeschool mom who might need it. It's my mission to support as many working homeschool moms as possible. Until next time, take care.